Friday for Amazon warehouse workers. Employees in Staten Island voted today to unionize. It's the first time in the company's 27-year history that that's happened. Amazon management, of course, opposes the effort. They said in a statement that they're disappointed with the outcome. The lead organizer of the movement thanked Jeff Bezos for going to space. The organizer said, quote, while he was up there, we were signing people up for the union. So interested to see if this could be a sign of more unionization attempts to come. It's going to be really interesting to watch as politics seems to be shifting hard against the business community. All right, let's go around the table on this Friday. We'll do our Friday roundup. Laura, what do you think we missed this week? What was undercovered? So Eric Garcetti, who's the... Uh, President's nominee to be the India ambassador, his nomination is on the ropes, uh, and it's because of allegations against one of his top advisors uh, of sexual assault, sexual harassment. And so a lot of Democrats are now starting to privately express concern about this, uh, about Garcetti. Uh, a number of sources told me this week that, that in briefings that happened on the Hill, there are not currently 50 Democratic votes for him. So the White House is going to have to really work overtime to make sure that Once it get gets there. this bad, it's, it's mm -hmm. unlikely it's not going to be pulled. I think, agree. John Harwood? It's not a story that's been missed, but it's one that isn't, hasn't gotten attention because it hasn't happened yet. But the, uh, on Saturday night, the, an annual event called the Gridiron Dinner uh, for a- A very, very fancy dinner a, for a Washington club journalists of and politicians. journalistic <laughs> geezers, mostly, <laughs> yeah. that uh, typically the president has shown up. When the president doesn't show up, typically the vice president shows up. Well, Joe Biden is otherwise engaged. He's not showing up for the dinner. But who is he sending? He's sending his Commerce Secretary, Gina Raimondo, former governor of Rhode Island. She is a rising star within this administration, uh, somebody who is smart, telegenic, aggressive, uh, and that's somebody to keep an eye on. It is. I wouldn't be surprised if she runs for president. Eva, what's yours? Well, I was recently out on the campaign trail in Georgia following Stacey Abrams, and her number one issue is Medicaid expansion. And it seems to speak to the concerns of voters. Actually, she held a roundtable. Lots of the questions that she got was about health care. I'm interested to see as Democrats try to land on their midterm message if they'll return to health care, because they were very successful running on that message in 2018. Yeah, good point. So Jeff? We always talk a lot about Florida. One thing in Florida caught my eye uh, this week that we'll be talking about uh, really for months and years to come, a federal judge struck down uh, several aspects of the new election laws that we've seen uh, that have been uh, passed by Republicans. And the reason this is important is uh, Judge uh, Mark Walker said that uh, black voters were targeted specifically by these laws. In particular, what they're talking about or one aspect is these mail drop boxes. It's you know become easier to vote, certainly in the age of the pandemic, and drop boxes are a way to drop ballots off. And this is something that uh, he raised specifically, but for the next 10 years, all of these efforts are going to be under the watch. So even though the voting rights laws uh, have been uh, stripped away in some degrees by the Supreme Court, uh, this effort in Florida, this judge in Florida, drawing attention to some of these laws that have been you know really targeting minority voters, making it harder right. to vote, he struck back uh, at least somewhat this week. Yeah, no, very important uh, to keep an eye on.